So quick walkthrough of the of the, the, the toilet stroke shower room. Um, on the side obviously you've got your towel rail, hooks for hanging towels. Under the unit here you have your light on off switch. Overhead some more useful handy space. The toilet itself and the lever down here, this locks and opens the toilet, which is very important when it comes to emptying the cassette. Also, when driving, it's good, you should ensure that the lever is in the lock position. And obviously, when in use, to the right, so that the inside hole opens up down to the waste cassette. On the bottom of the shower tray, you'll see there's this wooden footboard. Now you leave this in place uh, when not in use as it obviously extends the, the, the floor space. Uh, when you want to use the shower you lift it out, store it out the way until you've had your shower and then put it back in place. You have your sink, tap unit and the tap itself pulls out up onto the shower mount and on the top there are two different buttons one is for the tap function the other is for the the, the shower function now the shower itself uh, is a power shower so it is a decent strength uh, of water uh, that comes through and for the door itself unhook the tabs the door opens out and it fits in to this space here it sort of concertinas out Another important point with the toilet itself, you'll see this little indication panel down here, just to the left of the seat. Um, it's currently green uh, as the, the tank is, is empty. As it starts to fill and becomes full, you'll see that it starts to turn red. And when it's fully red, you have to empty the, the cassette. Now, we, we recommend that if you're going to drive the vehicle, um, that you, you empty the cassette. Or if it's only slightly used, make sure the cassette is in the locked position to the left, and you'll see that the, the hole inside, a lip comes over it, uh, and that will stop any uh, waste from slushing around or, or coming back up through. To operate the toilet cassette, unlock the toilet cassette, Open the, the door, clip underneath, open the nozzle, undo, put to the side, and when you empty, make sure you press the button which, which releases any air within. Once empty, uh, at most sites, you can slush them out with water, and to take them to the to the water emptying, grey waste, pull it round, clip it in and simply walk away. Make sure it's well clipped back under to then enter it back into the slot. Make sure the cassette is in line with the inside guides, otherwise you can break it. Unlock the gas door. You will be supplied with two gas bottles. When you wish to change as you run out of gas, use the wrench provided and turn in the anti-clockwise position and apply to the other gas bottle. This will be demonstrated at handover uh, to ensure that you're, you're happy with the operation. When not in use, always ensure the the plug holes are in the closed position. Uh, this ensures, especially in during hot weather, that, that no unwanted smells um, uh, come from the waste water tank. So it's always good to keep them closed. Ladders for both the bunk, the top bunk and the, the drop down bed uh, in the middle of the cab are stored in the, the garage area. The small hooked top ladder is for the top bunk and the hooks hook into here. 
You then also have the, the safety net if you have small children, uh, which hook up onto the, the roof compartment, both here, middle, and... When entering the van, always use the step provided, which is stored in the boot. This then allows for easy access into the van. Take great care not to pull on the fly screen here as it's not meant for holding on to and, and it's quite flimsy. So make sure that when, op when entering the van, if you need to use a handle, use the handle provided here on the left. Above the top bunk, we also have the carbon monoxide detector located. Um, so if it goes off, it's going off for good reason um, and uh, make sure uh, you investigate or, or call ourselves if you're unsure. Uh, in addition to the carbon monoxide detector, we also have the smoke detector which is located here, just next to the, the, the overhead bed. Okay, to demonstrate the lounge electric drop down bed, you have an up and down option, press the down arrow, the bed will then come down to the access level. In the bed, for restless sleepers or to, to ensure that you don't roll out the bed in the evening, there is a net as the same as we have on the, the bunks. They secure at the various points around the bed and just give you that extra bit of comfort during the night. The ladder, ensure it's the ladder with the long hooks on, not the short, which is for the back bunks. Hook over the side and then access the, the bed area. When not in use, you can leave the, the duvet on top, but ensure to take the pillows off and it can put additional strain on the motor as it comes to the ceiling. So a arrow. Back to the top, and then the bed is then out of the way for, for daytime use. So in the main lounge area, these turn into two further singles, one on each side. To turn them into some singles, undo the backs of the chairs where they're attached in the Velcro. Take care uh, to avoid uh, any unwanted issues with the disc coming off. The same on the main. Push your hands behind and gently remove them. Once off, store in the in the driver area. And sheets are provided to fit this area for both sides. Uh, both mattress toppers and sheets uh, just to provide that extra extra bit of comfort. Now, in addition, when driving, uh, because these seats on the end turn into uh, passenger seats with the seat belts to the back, lift the middle out gently. Both sides, and then lift out the centre partition. And then store this safely in the garage and it opens up the, the, the footwell for the passengers. In addition, we also have a plug socket here for your phone chargers, etc., and a USB charging point. 